All right, hello out there. I am here with the wonderful Dr. Wright at ACP in Austin. Yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah, good, good. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see you as well. So let's talk about the meeting. What are you learning? What is exciting? Well, we're learning a lot about lipedema and um, and just s some of the treatments and techniques that are that are being successful to help people uh, suffering from lipedema. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. What else did you want to bring to the surface and educate us on today? Well, uh, with respect to lipedema, um, I want to focus on uh, lymph sparing liposuction, and lymph sparing liposuction is is a principles that that guide liposuction for people with lipedema mm -hmm. and uh, it because people with lipedema generally ha have more risks of, of medical complications we right. need to be extra careful to make sure that they don't have any uh, complications and so the the principles uh, around that are, are are first to make sure that they are completely decongested before they uh, undergo the the surgery. This is mm -hmm. um, this involves compression garments and um, and make manual lymph drainage and 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 maybe compression pumps and 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 w we have to ensure that that also ensures that they that, that some of the weight is weight is take that takes off weight, water weight. It takes mm -hmm. off uh, inflammation and in, and it ensures that they're going to have a successful. Uh, transition perioperative period because liposuction by itself worsens swelling so interesting you wouldn't want to undertake liposuction on someone with lymphid lipedema okay. until they have their uh, until their uh, swelling has been adequately controlled that makes sense what are some of the principles um, that you want to share with us um, well, so so the the principles uh, um, are are to make sure that the liposuction is is uses generous tumescence and why? Because when you use generous tumescent anesthesia, you protect the the small lymphatic vessels from injury from the liposuction. Interesting. Um, also, we use small cannulas for the same reasons. You know, larger cannulas are more traumatic, and mm -hmm. and so there's more risk of complications. Um, also, also that we we limit the amount of fat uh, taken in one liposuction surgery. Uh, obviously, people with lipedema often have a lot of subcutaneous fat, and, mm -hmm. the, and, and the tendency is to really want to get as much fat as possible. Um, and you have to temper that with the, the fact that more fat, more than, say, five liters of fat, or more than five or ten percent of your body surface area that, that that undergoes liposuction the risks of complications uh, triples and wow. so you really and, and and these are people that you know really don't need or can't afford any any complications right of course and it's uh, already complicated enough right and so it's really you know we really want to emphasize that and then finally um, you know the surgical technique uh, is also important so using the small cannulas and the abundant tumescence and avoiding general anesthesia which increases the risks of yeah. of, 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 of operation even you, you know even even death from the procedure so mm -hmm. so avoiding all of those things we we the technique involves uh, going longitudinally along the um, axis of the limb where the lymphatics drain, so that we avoid transecting the lymphatic vessels and um, and also uh, near the lymph nodes, the air, afferent limbs that where the where the lymph um, lymph flows towards the lymph nodes. Um, that um, is also an area where we, we take extra care to avoid uh, injury. So what advice would you give your 21-year-old self? Oh, wow. The great, great. So my 21-year-old self would be uh, try and enjoy, um, you know, this, uh, the journey uh, more. And also, um, yeah, enjoy the journey more. I like that. I like that Also, advice. spend more time outside. Um, yes. And, Smart. And, uh, and, uh, and then, um, be careful, be careful, um, you know, be careful of your emotional wake you leave. Um, huh. That's so, so, so a lot of times we don't really think about, you know, the effect we might have. And sometimes we can have a great positive effect mm -hmm. and that's a great thing to have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our effects cannot be so great. Right. What advice would you give to an old boss? Ah, uh, 
Um, you know, I, I um, ease up. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. Good advice. Um, uh, I had this one. I had this one. Um, and and honestly, I I really look at this as a positive because she my one of my first jobs was at a, a, a big corporate entity called Monsanto. It's a um, oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I was a you know I was I was doing data entry, which is you know kind of the the bottom rung. Super exciting. And my uh, supervisor was, uh, I'm not making this up, uh, her, her name was Ingrid. She was, had escaped from East Germany and, um, and uh, <laughs> she was pretty, she was pretty, uh, she was pretty tough. But honestly, um, she really um, emphasized and I really felt from that point on that, you know, it's it, when you're out in the real world, in a real job, you know, um, people, people have a, they they expect things and they expect things a certain way and mm-hmm. um, yeah and when they're paying the bills uh, they get to they get to have those expectations. Um, I I I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot. Of, you know what? You know what? I'm having a lot of fun at the at, at the booth here with Incredible Marketing. I mean, we are a great company. We we, you, we really are. You are really are yeah, pretty amazing. We're very modest yeah. here at yeah. Incredible it, Marketing. It, it really <laughs> like to. Almost, I mean, if you have one. <laughs> One fault it is that you're too modest. I know, I know, too modest. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess we can wrap it up. Thank okay. you so much for your time and your interview, and uh, have a great time in Austin tonight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wright.